a week before he meets face to face with Nate Diaz for the final time before fight week. Jorge Masvidal is in Miami, getting close to finishing another project that has been a long time coming. Ouch, right. Yo, yo. Here it is. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, yes, sorry. Start up. We first met uh, through another friend. We spoke about the car for a little while and the, the plans for it. And then uh, all of a sudden it arrived on a tow truck. You got your air ride remote right there. Oh, look at one more time. There we go. That's it. That's a car that he liked for a very long time. Love this bad boy. We've seen it in movies and stuff like that, so that's how it kind of all started. The engine is brand fucking new. The AC blows like a prostitute, so. This shit's going, man. We're going places in this bad boy. Where we are? Where we going, huh? Where we going, Craig? We out. We out? It's like the hood, though. Ooh. So the magic is that. There it is. So that's an LS2. All new lines, brakes, suspension, all black bully kit, matched with the car. Nothing too fancy. So, ready to go. We put a lot of time and, and uh, blood, sweat, and, and love into the car because we knew what it meant to him. I know that's what he puts into his fights. He's very dedicated to it. And and he's he's gonna take it, he's gonna win. About to take over once again. Whoop that so-called gangster in the two, I don't know what the fuck. He's about to get murdered, bro. They county, baby. From whips to even bigger rides, decades of fighting have earned the reigning king of Miami, a lifestyle he never imagined. We are in Dade County, we're in my city, Miami. Paradise, man. I'm headed to Bayside to get this shit fucking cracking. It was a lot of respect going into the fight, you know, because uh, the shit that Nate had done, I fucking always respected him in, in the sport and how he fought and how he carried himself. But then after I whooped his ass, um, he said I was a coward. <laughs>